watching Hexus TV. We're at Computex 2009. I'm talking to Andy Paul, who's the CEO and founder of Corsair. Hi, Andy. Hi. So, Andy, we're going to um, just have an introduction, a sort of biography of Corsair for our viewers. Can we just start by uh, asking you when you founded Corsair and, and how briefly how it's evolved from, from then to now? Sure. So, we, um, we started Corsair in 1994. Um, and it started make, uh, we started the company making uh, very specialized solutions for OEMs. Um, and uh, we ended up, uh, after a few years, making high-end memory for servers. Um, okay. And about 1997, 1998, we found um, a lot of enthusiasts were starting to overclock memory um, right. and overclock CPUs. And uh, the memory they went to was ours. And okay. so we became very quickly at the, at the onset of the overclocking market, we became the memory to have to overclock. Um, so as that's evolved into a DIY market, um, we have become uh, the de facto memory to use as, a, as an overclock DIY okay. system memory. Um, and in the process, we've gone from a, a company that was virtually 100% OEM yep. server manufacturer to now we're 100% retail. Really, 100%? So, yeah, so okay. all our businesses uh, is to consumers, um, and we 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 do a little bit of uh, a little bit of work with um, some of the gaming OEMs. Um, so most of the major, you know, whether it's Dell or HP, when they when they or yep. when they make new platforms, they tend to look at our memory just because okay. we we tend to have the most overclockable memory. So okay, so so historically you've been a memory company, but um, I know that over the past couple of years you've been diversifying your product offering a fair bit. You just give us a bit of a rundown of. Um, how, how that's manifested itself and why you made that decision? Sure. Well, we found um, probably three years ago, we'd, we'd built up a, a lab of uh, engineers and applications guys that really understood overclocking and really understood how to, um, how to build um, enthusiast systems. And we found that we knew an awful lot about um, every component um, in, 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 the, in the system. So... Um, and that's just largely because the, the, the focus um, used to be on, um, on CPU overclocking and memory overclocking. Those yep. are the two things people used to look at a lot. So um, we realized there was an opportunity in, in a lot of other components to add some value. Um, and the first thing we saw was that there was a dynamic shift in the uh, power supply needs um, as both ATI and NVIDIA were bringing out very high performance yep. and high power cards. So we saw this this whole trend going on where, where people, instead of using a 400 watt supply, needed a 700 or 800 watt okay. power supply. And most of the power supplies we saw in the market um, weren't really up to the standards that we'd like to see. Okay. And we knew that because we were building systems and realizing the pitfalls. Yep. So we decided to um, launch into the power supply market um, in, I think, the end of 2006. So we weren't sure whether we could be successful. There was already a lot of people in the market. Um, and in about two years, we've gone into a pretty crowded market um, with probably at most of our retailers, 40 or 50 suppliers of power wow. supplies. And in most of the major markets, we're either number one or number two now. Okay. So um, in two years. Yeah. So what, that, what that's proven to us is that um, Corsair as a company and as, as, as a brand is is a very demanded um, supplier. Um, consumers, enthusiasts love us, yep. um, and they trust what we bring to the market, and they, they understand the value added. Um, and you know, in our in our lab, the guys that develop the products are enthusiasts. They know exactly what yep. consumers want. So I think I think that's really helped us. Um, and we've been very um, very clear in all the new products we've done that. The first parts we bring out into a, in, a, in a new product line have to be the sort of products that enthusiasts would love yeah. um, and talk to their friends about, and so that's worked very well in the past. Okay. Play. So that was that was that was PSU's a couple of years ago, and I know yep. Hexus has been writing a fair bit. Um, you're you're involved in cases in SSDs as well. Can you just tell me a little bit about um, why you're in those markets and, and what trends you're seeing within them? Yeah, so uh, different reasons really. Um, the um, the solid state drive market is, is, a, is a little different. So we're already a fairly large player in, in USB drives. Um, yeah. And um, so, so we make a whole range of, um, of rugged um, yeah. 
USB drives, of course, Hex's readers know because you guys have tried to destroy them for yeah, the last right. uh, <laughs> five years. Yeah. It's just um, disrespectful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so we're already, you know, so being in the flash market, it was it was very natural for us to move into other um, other flash uh, products. And what we started to realise is um, that one of the very early adopters and the and the and the, and the leaders in in demand for uh, flash SSDs uh, was the enthusiasts and yep. the gamers. So so it was kind of natural for us to to, to uh, bring those solutions to market. So so that's the SSD story. Cases and um, and actually cooling solutions, which is the thing we've also uh, launched this, this week, um, really is from the same, um, same, same uh, background as PowerSupply. So our, our guys realized, because they build so many systems in our, our labs, that they, that they know exactly what they like about certain systems and certain cases and what they don't like. And so we decided to put together a list of, of w all the things that would make a case an ultimate builder's case. Okay. Um, and and that's where the Obsidian 800D has, right. has come from. So, when, when you when you go through the, the the feature list of that case, it it is really the ultimate enthusiast builder's case. Right. Um, and that's where we're going to start. Um, and then over the next uh, couple of quarters, we'll start bringing out some uh, more general purpose um, okay. cases for for everyday consumers. The, this case is a is a fairly high end, yeah. you know, Ferrari of cases. So. Right, but there'll be a sort of more mid market. Yep. Um, offering yep. Coming we'll, up. we'll follow up and do a full range. So, so our intention is um, in both the case and the power supply market, um, we would like to be in the same position we are in uh, are in the memory uh, market, which is the number one enthusiast brand. Yeah. So, uh, cooling is the same thing. Um, you know, we've been doing water cooling products for probably five years now. Um, but water cooling has been a very sort of exotic niche market. Um, what we realized as we were looking through the uh, enthusiast case, uh, looking at all the different components of what things we could bring, to, bring value added to, um, we started to realize that there was a bit of a convergence on, um, on air cooling and water cooling. Yep. Um, and so the product we brought out now is, is perfect. It, it, it uses water cooling as its core technology, okay. but to the outside, to all intents and purposes, it looks like a high-end air cooler. I see. And we've got it at the same price points. Um, so we think that's going to be a real, really terrific uh, solution for, for, for enthusiasts. Great. OK, before we finish up, um, I just I always ask people this. Um, can you, you give us some idea uh, of cases that we might expect to see in the next few quarters from Corsair? Are there any other uh, pointers to the future you can give our readers? Um, you know, I'm sure that we're not going to stop just with, uh, with, with all the products we've got. Um, to be quite honest with you, the, 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 the launch we've just done into, into cases and, and, and uh, cooling is going to keep us busy for a couple right. of quarters. So I, I don't think you're going to see much more um, significant product launches in terms of new product lines in the next year, but, um, but probably 2010 will roll out a couple of other okay. opportunities. Watch this space. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Andy. Okay, thank you. So I've been talking to Andy Paul, CEO of Corsair. You're watching Hexus TV at Computex 2009.